Hey guys, Chris from Tillman Family Farms. Uh, it has been a long morning already. Overnight, we had a group of feeder pigs get out. Um, got a call at 2.45 in the morning from our neighbors across the street saying we had pigs out. So we immediately went over there. We had four of our large feeder pigs that were over there. Our pigs are pretty socialized, so they were easy to catch. We brought some netting and another charger got them pinned up. We just now found, it's well after seven o'clock. We just now found the 10 piglets across the street at another neighbor's house. Do have them contained. I'm getting our smallest stock trailer right now uh, and trying to get over there. I'll show you what we got going on when we get over there. Crazy morning, man, crazy morning, hang tight. All right, so stressful enough as this is, I got the small horse trailer hooked up to the mule. I got dad fixing to escort me out on the road um, and uh, we'll head over. We're gonna catch the small piglets first. So well, we've got them caught, but we got to get them in this trailer somehow. So we'll see how that goes. So this is our neighbor's house. These are the 10 bad piglets that have escaped that we've been searching for. They torn up the front yard over there and they were nested up against their house right there. So that's what we're dealing with. Uh, but we got a trailer over here fixed to try to catch them up and get them in the trailer and get them the heck out of here. These we knocked on the door, but nobody came to the door. Current situation, we have a few that are getting in the trailer and we've had all but one in that trailer thus far. And um, these guys, so it's cold out here and these guys are just kind of wanting to huddle up. Jamie's gone back to the house to try to get some uh, leftovers, something that smells a little better than their uh, organic feed over there and to see if that may entice them a little bit more. But uh, like I say, these guys are living it up and uh, these guys are cold. So we'll see how this goes. So we're making progress. Um, we finally got all of the piglets over here and in netting. Uh, show you them right now. And then we've got the bigger pigs on the trailer. We got to set up another pin for them real quick. I have no idea what time. It's gotta be about 10 o'clock. We've been at this since about three o'clock this morning. So um, fun stuff. Pig farming. So here's where they currently are. These are the piglets. Most of them are hiding over there under the pecan tree. So we're gonna set up something behind us, get these big pigs in and get some water, some feeders put back out and uh, probably get something to eat and go to sleep. So they're back behind bars. Uh, I'm gonna tell you, this is a uh, this is one of those experiences where you think twice about being a, a, a farmer or something like that. <clears throat> this is something that I want to do retirement wise, uh, or maybe a retirement early type deal. And I'm gonna tell you, I don't even know if I want to do it as a daggum side job now. But anyhow. Um, Struggle's over for now. When I collect myself, I'll probably give my whole thoughts on this deal. I must admit, um, this is not the greatest video in the world. Wasn't a whole lot of exciting anything going on. Um, I wanted to do a video of this because this is this is what happens. I mean, these are the things that, that we deal with. Uh, it is the next day, by the way. Um, there was we were so tired yesterday and all that stuff that, that I just felt like I, I wasn't going to be able to, to do anything else with this. So, um, this is the, the next day. I'm not quite as upset and I want to keep farming today. Yesterday, not so much. Uh, but anyhow, everybody's caught. Um, we have made some, uh, adjustments, so to speak, uh, and, and gotten everybody back separated we had uh combined the younger pigs and the bigger pigs and and we've done that in the past and had a little bit of a, a problem 
and this time they've been together a month or so and, and we still feel like that's what happened we, we feel like that um, you know little the smaller pigs being chased off from the feeder from the bigger pigs it's rained a lot here in the past couple of days and, and our you know these fencing spikes are only in the ground so far I mean one one little bump into it and the, if the fence lays down I mean you know they, they can get across it pretty good but pretty quickly uh, in this situation it came apart where the actual uh, charger was at so when that part of the fence went down and they started trying to go over it, it even pulled the connections from the charger off of it. So, I mean, they were just free to take off and roam wherever they wanted to. Um, we do have some other issues on this side of the farm. Our perimeter fence um, is hog wire, field wire uh, for the most part. And then uh, it is uh, barbed wire for about seven or 800 feet. Um, we will be changing that so it, it, at least if they get out they're still contained in, in that fence and they would have just stayed right around here rooting up whatever but um that's where it's at i, I wanted to put an end to this video um it wasn't the best time in the world and and we learned from it and um you know hopefully hopefully you guys can can learn from these things as well but we appreciate you guys watching and uh We'll make some more videos. See you next time.